We're going to stick to, to just basic principles and concepts of anything pyro. I want, I want to get your mind thinking basic principles and concepts so you can be like me or like Bob uh, Saracen across the way said, every time you walk into your local store or your local uh, big lots or you go into Joanne's Fabrics or whatever, you'll be thinking, what can I use in here for pyro? Okay, you know, I mean, I, I, this has been my this has been a story of my life. You know, every time I come across a paper tube, it goes in my pocket. You know, uh, I got junk here that's probably uh, at least 20 years old. Okay, so sometimes it's not so useful, but that's the way we are. We just kind of grab stuff and do it. Um, the other thing that I really want to stress, as far as I'm concerned, pyro is art. Okay, it's not a science. I mean, when you get out your scale and you weigh it, comp the composition and you bring your press down to whatever PSI, etc. That's science. But that doesn't make your rocket and that doesn't make your shell. That's only part of it. And the art portion of the pyro is why sometimes something works and sometimes it doesn't. And you can maybe get that down to more working than more not working, but you're still going to have a few not works. So uh, this really is an art. And if you notice on my outline, for example, you can make green probably with uh, four or five hundred different formulas and some people like a nice soft pale green and they'll call it lime and some people like that real bright rich green and they'll call it emerald some people will put extra chlorine or extra metal in it whatever but it's green and when you describe it on your thing you're going to write down green you're going to write bright green lime green however but it's green and there's lots of ways of making green so we're not all going to do it the same and no particular way is better or worse. What works for you is what counts. And if you make it work and make it work consistently and safely, stay with it. And that's another thing I wanted to stress. Okay, now, the title of the lecture is Paper, Paste, and String. Um, the second part.